Okay then, today I'm going to be teaching you how to get PC Minecraft Worlds onto the Xbox 360 and we're going to get straight in with it. First of all, you need a memory card to stick into your Xbox and you do, all you need to do is when uh, Minecraft loads up is select that device like so. Uh, just create a new world. I've, ca I've called mine a uh, tutorial but basically it's just a normal world. Just create it on survival. Don't Make sure you don't put it as flatland and everything else is just the same so nothing really different and then just load it up and then obviously just save it onto your memory stick so as you can see that one's called tut just capital T little u little t and I'm going to show you that I can actually get a world onto that like a actual uh, computer world onto the Xbox so let's get straight into it and I hope you enjoy the video and I hope I'll help Okay then, so you want to come onto your laptop or PC or whatever now, and first of all, you want to make sure you've got these three uh, files. You want Horizon, MC Edit, and Appraisal lap uh, PC to Xbox Converter. First of all, you want to go onto MC Edit. However, you have still got it installed. I've still got it in the WinRAR, so I'll just open it up. Uh, if you're not really that good with MC Edit, just check on YouTube or whatever, uh, whatever how to like do basic stuff because that's all you need is the basic stuff. Uh, I'm just gonna create a new world, and east to west needs to be 54, and north to south also needs to be 54. Uh, this is because this is like the Xbox size of the world. You want to change the game type to creative, and my, uh, the generator to, from Minecraft server to Flatland. The height needs to be 1 and just unclick grass. Uh, I'm going to call this tut just so we don't get confused with each little thing. Just wait for it to load up. It should bring a, well, it should make a like world just made of one layer of bedrock, which it should. Okay then, so once it's opened up, all you have to do is, as you can see, it's the bedrock. Go on to MC Edit and Open World. And you want to go on to your save where the actual PC version of your Minecraft save is. So obviously, percent app data, roaming, dot Minecraft file, uh, dot Minecraft, and then go into your saves. And then I'm going to use the Temple of Notch. I'll put the original video in the description so you can check that out. And what you want to do is find the level.dat file and just open it up and then just close everything else. You then want to scroll out and I'll just show you the, the actual map. So as you can see there's Notch's face and if you're not familiar with it just go and check out that video as I've said. And what you want to do is sort of find a midpoint of like the whole map. So it doesn't have to be exact, but if your map was huge and you wanted to get like a certain part, you'd like put the part you wanted as the midpoint and then just like expand from there. But I'm just going to use like, uh, I'm just right click again, sorry. I'm just going to use this area here as my midpoint. And as you can see, it says 1W by 1L by 1H. What you want to do is go down to nudge, uh, click and hold, press shift and start pressing A. And as you can see, the W is starting to increase. You want this to get to um, 432, so just keep going. And 432. Then what you want to do is go over to the other nudge and hold shift again and then press D to go out the other way. So the controls are like uh, Minecraft when you first download it, so W, A, S, D, A and D are side to side, W and S are forward and back. So you want to go out D as 432 as well, but then uh, it should say 864W, like it does now. So as you can see, 864W. You then want uh, the, the length to be longer as well. You want that also to be 864. So first of all, I'll use Shift and W to go out uh, 432 blocks. Oh, gone over it. There we go. And then just go on to the other nudge, use Shift and S just to make it up to 864. 
and then what you want to do for height hold shift and Q and you want to go down uh, 64 blocks and then hold the other one and shift and Z to go up 64 blocks so you should get 128 and now this what you've just done is giving you the area of a Xbox Minecraft world because on the Xbox it's not infinite like uh, the PC so you need to give it some sort of uh, like area to build with so now what you want to do is go on to export and just let the uh, bar finish should only take a few seconds uh, I'm just going to save this as the temple of notch well export it as the temple of notch Okay then, so once that's exported, you want to go up to MC Edit at the top left, Open World, and you want to find your uh, like where you saved your flatland. So mine was on Tut and Level Dot Dat. Just open it back up. You can then close this down. Then what you want to do is move back a bit so you come out of this like half head and half mob spawner man. And this is basically the spawn. What you want to do is the block just underneath you want to click on and then at the bottom on the taskbar you want to click on the one which looks like a crane pulling something up which is import just import uh, then you should have your save mine the temple of notch dot schematics just click it and open it <coughs> sorry about that and then what you want to do is click right underneath the, per uh, the person again and just press import and it will start importing your uh, Minecraft world that you've just created and like cropped down into this new flatland. So just give it a few more seconds to do that. Okay then, so now it's imported. Uh, one thing you do want to remember is actually where you want to put your spawn point. So all you do is come down to the taskbar again, and it should say move set uh, move spawn point. So just click that, and you should get a like mob spawner with a heading. Uh, you just want to then go to wherever you wanted to actually put this new uh, spawn point. So I'll just wait for the world to load a bit so I can find out where I am. So I'm just going to set my spawn. Uh, just here then all you do is just click down and it will set it as there so all you have to do now is go on to uh, save and just save it once you finish with it and this should save now okay then so once that's saved you just want to close out of MC edit because you're finished with that now it'll actually close Close that down. There we go. Just close that. No, thank you. <clears throat> okay, then. So, what you want to do is go into the old Prosa folder and go on to Anvil to Region. And then you want to find where you had your save. So, mine is Tut. And you want to press Don't Alter, don't alter Level .dat File and just convert to MC Region like so and then once that's done you want to go on to PC region oops close that down and you want to go on to app percent at uh, percent app data percent to find your roaming file you want to open it up go on to minecraft dot minecraft going to saves and go into your tut where you found uh, where you can find region go on to region and you'll be open up with these files these eight files. You then want to go into PC regions and all the ones which end with .mcr you just want to drag in and then once you've dragged them all in you can just sorry about this you can then just copy and paste them back into the original file 
just so you have them there if you need if you do anything wrong or you need to use uh, the laptop version again then what you do is go back to the appraisal uh, LP one the appraisal LP file and you'll see appraisal LP converter it will be the updated one you'll need and all you do is press on it and then click enter to begin it will basically start converting the file into a Xbox save and it will create a saved dot uh, dat file in this file which is pretty much the Xbox version so you basically home dry now and all you have to do is use Horizon to get it in so I'll show you how to do that once it's saved and I'll be back in a minute okay then so once that's finished you just press enter and you should see that you have a new save game also if you have um, any errors which should come up if say like uh, redstone lamps or upside down steps have been placed in the map uh, Xbox doesn't have those yet so all you do is just either you can press I think it's zero for air or you can change it into something like say if it was a redstone lamp you can press uh, 89 which gives you glowstone so it also recommends a few things so I would go with the recommendations they are pretty much equal so then with this same uh, saved game dot dat you want to open up horizon and this is where your memory stick will come in handy and your save file of the game so you just want to plug that in now whilst Horizon's opening up. Okay then, so once it's open, if you don't if you're not familiar with Horizon, all you have to do is go on to games, Minecraft. Just open Minecraft up and it'll give you a list of all your saved games on the memory stick. And I'm looking for Tut and there it is. All you want to do is drag that over, unlike usual where like downloaded maps you can just inject a new file, you want to drag it over and go on to content or contents, whatever you want to say about it, whatever you want to call it. And then what you want to do is uh, right click and press replace, then go and find where the saved uh, game is, so it should be in the appraisal still, save game dot dat, just press it and press open and it should change the file into that new file and as you can see files replaced successfully so you're pretty much done now you've got it on your memory stick all you need to do is uh, save rehash and resign give that a few seconds to do like so and now you have your xbox version all you need to do is go and plug it into your xbox and you can play so i'll be back in two seconds when i'll be showing you the new map on xbox Okay then, so what you want to do is get back onto the Xbox and find where the save is. It should be on the memory stick still. Uh, so mine was tut. I'm going to go into it. Just going to go into creative to show you that it works. And just to prove that it's Xbox, if you can't actually tell already, being as it says Minecraft Xbox 360 Edition. But for all the, all the people who don't believe that this is real, uh, let's show you that it actually does work. So here we are. We're in... Uh, the saved and it is Notch's temple so let's have a look about sometimes some of the stuff doesn't actually work very well because uh, like redstone doesn't work on uh, glowstone does it anymore so it some of the redstone could be broken if it was placed over um, redstone uh, glowstone even so here's where you come through there's Notch and up here should be some of the oh oh yeah that's one thing what's also wrong with this map uh, dispensers don't actually have anything in and chests and um, furnaces so if there's anything in the map in a chest it won't be in the chest anymore so that is one problem with this thing also uh, signs don't produce the um, like the words and that so that won't work either but here's one good feature that the appraisal made. So we'll go over to the bottom right hand corner of the map. I'll just cut this bit out. Oh yeah, sometimes the map will mess up a little bit if it's a bit smaller than what it should have been. So as you can see, that's how big the map was anyway. So it's now just a random map. But at the bottom right hand corner of every map, 
we just keep flying as you can see there's a big tower well tower of writing which says appraisal and this is basically a watermark for every map and this can actually not be destroyed at all even in creative it can't be destroyed so that was a really good feature that he's put in stops people from stealing maps and saying they made them on xbox really good and hopefully you enjoyed and i hopefully have taught you something today and go ahead and make your stuff so one more thing before i say this area here is only because we chose uh, because this map is smaller than what an xbox uh, map would would actually be but honestly each world is usually inch perfect and Thanks for watching, that's us Next Level Gamers, and if you need any help, just feel free to comment, and um, if this video hasn't helped, I'll put a link to the original video, and they should tell you how to do it, so thanks for watching, rate, comment, and subscribe.